This is the first time that we're coming to you in the blessed month of Ramadan due to the uh, tight schedule. We haven't been able to do any of these recordings, but inshallah, as we will begin now. We ask Allah to accept it from us and to accept it from you. Very first thing that we want to deal with is the issue of the greeting of Ramadan because there has been a lot of kalam concerning it. And yes, I think we should have done this a long time ago before Ramadan even began. But again, the schedule has been tight. Many people make inkar against people because they greet them with Ramadan Mubarak or Ramadan Kareem. Let me say in this regard that some of the ulama are of the opinion that it is permissible to say Ramadan Mubarak. Ulama from the Salaf, like Al-Imam al baghwi the author of the book Sharh al-Sunnah. And you can refer back to that book to see what he mentioned. Anyway, there's an authentic hadith that the scholars use to prove this point. And that is what was collected by Imam Ahmed in his Musnad on the authority of Abu Hurairah. May Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet told his companions, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when Ramadan was coming, he used to give them a bushra. He used to give them the glad tidings of Ramadan. He told them, Qad ja'akum Ramadan. Shahrun Mubarak Fihi Tuftahu Abuab Al Jannah Watuhlu Fihi Abuab Al Jahim Watuhalu Fihi Shayatim Fihi Layla Tun Khairu Min Alfi Shahr Men Hurima Khairaha Fakat Huram Verily Ramadan has come to you and it is a month that is Mubarak. It is a blessed month. In this month the doors of Al-Jannah are opened and the doors of the hellfire are closed and locked. And the shayateen, they are tied up and they are subdued. In this month, there is a night that is better than a thousand months. Anyone who is prevented from the good and receiving the good of this particular night, he has been prevented from a lot of good, a lot of khayr. This hadith is what the scholars use to show the permissibility of saying Ramadan Mubarak. Because the Prophet said about it, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Shahrun Mubarak. So what we need to do is we need to calm down a little bit. When you have an opinion, take it easy. If you have the opinion of those scholars who say that you can't do it, then that's your opinion. Relax, no problem. Other people from scholars who are bigger than the scholar that you're relying on or taking his position, they took another position. And this goes again to show the importance of the etiquette of al-ikhtilaf. And the importance of al-ikhlas, having sincerity, and not being upset when people take opinions other than yours. As for the issue of Ramadan Karim, then yes, many of the scholars say you shouldn't say that. From them is Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, rahimahullah ta'ala. Because from Allah, Allah's name is, he is Al-Kareem. And Al-Kareem means generous, like Al-Jawad. Allah's name is Al-Jawad. Al-Jawad means generous. But there's a distinction and a difference between Al-Jawad and Al-Kareem. Al-Jawad, Allah is Al-Jawad in that he gives indiscriminately. He gives to those people who ask and those people who don't ask. So Al-Jawad is the one who gives to someone and didn't ask you for anything. So Allah has given us many things that we didn't ask for. Al-Kareem is the one who gives you when you ask him for what you want. And Allah said about himself, in the Quran that he gave you from everything that you asked for. Everything that you asked for, he gave it to you. So with that being the case, a Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen said, you shouldn't call Ramadan Kareem because it doesn't give. It doesn't give. Allah is the giver. But saying Ramadan Mubarak is something that's permissible. And again, granted, some of the scholars said you shouldn't say Ramadan Kareem. I've heard that a Sheikh Salih Al-Fawzan has said that. I didn't read it for myself. But even if he said it, some of the people throw names out there and they say, Sheikh Saad al-Fawzan said it, as if that's revelation from the sky. Someone else on the other side could say, but Al-Imam al-Baghwi said the opposite. And that's not knowledge. Knowledge is 
bringing the proofs and understanding and appreciating the other po person's point of view when he has proof and scholars on his side. So again, Ramadan Mubarak, Mubarak, Mubarak. I wish and I hope for all of you a blessed Ramadan and may Allah al Kareem give me and all of you the khair of this month and what is inside of this month and from it, Laylatul Qadr. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.